Hello everyone, it's Donna. Um, so there had been some uh, questions going around and stuff about the uh, Stitch Composer that comes with uh, some of the Genomi machines. It came with my Skyline S7. I know it comes with the Skyline S9. I'm not sure about the S5, S6, um, if it comes with it or not. I'm, I know it comes with like the, the 94 or the 9 thousand series of 15,000 you know the upper end machines anyway so I thought I would do a little uh, quick video on how you can actually use this um, you can get you know as simple as you know just uh, you know doing basic stitches um, here where you would just you know uh, continue on like this one you may go back and you know just you know just playing around and stuff but you can actually get a little bit um, more uh, detailed here and I'm not gonna say that one how you can do that if there's like artwork or something you can actually bring in a uh, image that you want to use so let's uh, do this right here see if I can stretch this a little ways to make it a little bit larger I can't do too much on um, the width I mean I could get it the full 10 millimeter but um, there's there's no need to do that so anyway this is um actually the image that we're um going to try to reproduce and i'm going to lock my image now um so that uh, i can't stretch it anymore if i'm doing something i don't accidentally move move it so uh, we're going to come back and we're just going to start um playing around so I'm going to lay a point at zero and then I'm going to come over and I'm just going to basically um, trace this thing out and you can actually you'll have an opportunity to move some of these uh, points if you need to because uh, you may have to play around with it to to get it exactly the way you want and then we will come over here Oops. Oh, so that's saying exceeded the the um, limit uh, which is five millimeter in length so we're just gonna have to just have to make some adjustments like I said this is just playing and we'll just continue all the way around oh wow well. Have to remember these long stretches that I can't do that. We're going to go up here to the center and then do a one, two, three. Okay, so that is actually going to be the stitch, and if you look at your simulation for it you can see watch it over here as it's actually trying to stitch it out um, you can uh, zoom in and zoom out if you need to um, you can move some of your points here you can see that they're not 
actually, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the image now because um, I don't need it anymore. Everything's done. Now I can see these points that they're all not all there and I can move them and how you move them is you just put your mouse on here and, and drag it to where you want it and it's it's kind of hard actually to get it exactly there's one you just have to play around and that's um, kind of like why you would probably save it on your computer so that you can make some changes to it anyway so that's how you do it now in order to be able to save this um, you have to actually put a start point and an end point um, so I'm gonna add my start point and when I first started playing around with this I actually thought that the um, start point would be you know over here it's not you have your stitching uh, point list over here so the start point would actually be here and I'll hit the start point and if I try to go down here and put my end point um, and I try to write the design it's going to say that I need three or more stitch points required after the end point so one two three I'll make this one right here the end point and if I go to write the design now um, a it's looking for uh, my USB which I'll show you in a minute um, I can also do a, a file manager or uh, sorry I can do a save as right here and save it as a um, just a, a temporary stitch call it deco 2 I'm actually going to uh, try to plug in this jump drive give me a second I'm going to open the okay so here is the jump drive that I put in and we have to go down all the way down to where it, it wants it now this is the one I played with a little bit earlier um, I'm going to delete it off of here um, so there's nothing in here right now so when you go to write a design it's going to ask you you know where and you just uh, go all the way down and then you hit the transfer and if you look over here now you see the deco 2 stitch so if you want to um, now that we have the end the beginning and end points uh, if you go to do your simulation again you can watch over here and it's just going to uh, show you more than one you know it's going to continue on like you were actually sewing it on your sewing machine so anyway um that's it for this video and give it a try play with some of your own stitches and uh maybe i'll show you this one stitched out a little bit uh it, I, I will say um the deco one that i did was this um, but I didn't stretch it out and it, it didn't look too good. So but this was just a demonstration Anyway, have a great day and we'll see you later. Bye